Councilman Brown. Okay. Uh, third ward. I'm sorry for some third ward. Um, street paving uh, this year. I don't have exact dates that will happen on Elizabeth Avenue, uh, Northwood Avenue, uh, Maple Avenue, as well as Middlesex. So that's going to happen this year. Um, as the first ward, ward councilwoman mentioned, we should be having a community meeting for second, third ward, June 28th. Uh, more details will come out in regards to that. And also the first and third ward, uh, you coming to? second ward at Dobson Park, uh, Saturday, June 3rd, with a rain date on June 10th. Uh, also, I'm asking third ward residents if they need any trees planted or sidewalks fixed to call me. It seems like some people have an uh, old phone number, a 908 number. At my real number is 732-814-8123. The old 908 number is an old number. I haven't had that in two years. So it's a 732 number. Um, some other news. Um, during the last month, uh, me and the mayor had a couple of meetings over, uh, to discuss various issues. One, we had a meeting with the Board of Education where we're looking on ways to work together with the board, whether it's cost-saving measures or just overall working together. Some ideas that were generated that we're gonna pursue is having some of the plays and concerts that are done in the schools, done at the, uh, right across the street. Uh, some of the TV programming that the um, high school does or some um, in some of our schools, we wanna put more of that content on TV 36 as well. Um, uh, another thing that we did talk about, which I would like to see and ask the council support, is if we have students that are going to school or, or study engineering, that they get an internship here within City Hall, or we would partner with some of our companies, ConocoPhillips, things like that, to help them get them internships to help encourage their growth academically. And one of the things that I talked to the mayor about and Danny Robitozzi, the superintendent, is we have a scout day in April. And what I want to do is recognize some of our, um, I call them young scholars maybe in a July meeting uh, this year, students who are part of the National Honor Society and who achieve academically, is I feel like we recognize a lot of our kids that do well in sports, but we forget the kids that do well academically. And so that's something that um, I'm talking to our superintendent and the mayor with is recognizing uh, these students uh, annually uh, during a July meeting. 